Hey guys, it's Thursday, which means it's time for another video. I'm trying out new, um, like, area. I don't want to be facing the same thing the whole time, because I know some people like to look at the backgrounds of people's, um, people's houses, like the collections and everything, so I figured I'd just try something new. Um, I got a request to do a video, or do a review on the movie Motel Hell, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. Now, this is, like, the definition of a movie that's so bad that it's good. Because I'm not going to lie, the acting and everything is not the best in this movie. But that's what makes this movie work. And the famous tagline, it takes all kinds of critters to make Farmer Vincent's fritters, is probably one of the most iconic lines in horror movie history. Just because this movie is so goofy, but it's such a good movie. I actually got the chance this past summer to see this at my local drive-in and there are people like dressed up as Farmer Vincent with like the pig mask and everything if you can see that. Um, this I actually took a while to buy the Screen Factory version of Motel How just because I had Motel How but I just never got a chance to get the Screen Factory till about like a year or so ago and this is a fun movie if you haven't seen it it's a great movie I don't know if you can watch it anywhere if you can just comment down below and let me know um so I can just so I can know because <laughs> because I usually know like what movies are available where and all that but if if you're familiar with this basically this this um farmer farmer Vincent and his sister um they basically um, put, like, spikes in the middle of the road to um, cause these people to crash, and which leads them to come to this, um, like, creepy motel area where the, that they take care of, and basically they kidnap these people, and plant them in the ground, and then fatten them up, basically, until, I keep saying basically, I'm, I apologize, um, but fatten them up, and then, uh, chop them up and cook them in their meat, which is so, it's basically like a ripoff of, um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but, um, this was, like, before Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, so I feel like, the, the those movies especially are similar given that they're both like comedy more comedy driven to just like Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 he's making chili and he has human body like human meat and the chili and that's just when I think of that I think of this movie because this movie did it six years prior and there's I remember talks people there of um a remake of this movie. Personally, I don't think they should remake this movie at all. To me, given that it's so cheesy, like I said, it makes the movie work. Like, I I think the movie is great as it is. They shouldn't change it. I'm glad that there's no sequels or anything like that because that would have been kind of stupid. Um, one part that really creep me out in this movie is the fact that there's a, this young girl who had a beat at least in her like late 20s or early 20s something like that but she marries farmer vincent and he's like fucking <laughs> like 75 or something like way too old and to me that just creeped me out because she saw something in farmer vincent and like the sister um his sister's all like jealous and tries to like get rid of her, and it's just silly as shit. Honestly, this is one of the be better films of the 80s, in my personal opinion, and it's not in my top 10, but it's definitely a fun movie to watch if you are in the mood to just watch something that's just not the greatest with plot or um, line delivery, just something full-on goofy and over the top this is the kind of movie for you but yeah i hope you guys enjoy this review of motel hell comment down below on this video and let me know what you guys want me to review next and i'll be sure to get to it as soon as possible 
But in the meantime, I'll see you guys on Monday.